Praise the Lord. Global Hallelujah. I said, Praise the Lord. I welcome everyone once again to the wonders of the cross. And I pray that today the Lord will meet you at the point of your expectation in Jesus' name. Three words I'll give you before we pray. Expect, confess, possess. Your expectation will determine your confession. Your confession will determine your possession. I confess. I possess. What you confess, you possess tonight in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you because you are here. You are ready for everyone. Christ, we thank you for the sacrifice and the supply, the salvation, the sufficiency, everything you have provided on the cross of Calvary. And my skin, O Lord, that today our expectation will match what you did on the cross of Calvary in Jesus' name. And what we confess tonight, we are going to possess salvation for everyone restoration for everyone healing for everyone deliverance for everyone miracle for everyone tonight break every yoke destroy every curse and bring your people to the light of your joy of our joy and your sufficiency in jesus mighty name thank you lord Thank you, Lord. Everybody say, thank you, Lord. Because we're praying in Jesus' name. God bless you. Sit down in the blessing of the Lord. Again, I want to remind you that this global crusade for you, for me, for everyone, everywhere, is celebrating the victory, the triumph, the power of the cross of Jesus Christ. And as we celebrate, we're also remembering what he did for us on the cross of Calvary. And tonight, I bring an important message unto you. The cross that cancels every curse for every creature. The cross of Christ cancels every curse, every judgment, every evil, in everyone upon everyone for every creature i welcome you tonight to god's miracle power i welcome you tonight to god's solution divine solution in your life that will tear down everything the devil has built up in your heart tonight is your miracle night I've been here in good day. Amen. Now, remember, we're talking about the cross. That's Christ at Calvary, crucified on the cross. For, but why? So that he can cancel every curse for every creature on the face of the earth. And so, Today, as you understand what Christ has done and what Christ has provided, that is for you he came. And it is so that every curse in your life, every evil in your life, every oppression in your life, everything that the devil thought it will do to clamp you down, to crush your life, to destroy you that tonight all those things by the devil everything will be cancelled out of every life in jesus name that's my expectation 
That's my confession. That's my possession. What you confess tonight, you are going to possess in Jesus' name. We have limited understanding of the curse. The curse started at the garden of Eden. The Lord God Almighty, in His power, in His love, the Lord Almighty, in His vision to have men and women, boys and girls, live a happy life, a holy life, a satisfactory life, a blessed life, he created Adam and created Eve. And he put them in the garden of Eden. They were healthy. They were holy. They were perfect. They were pure. Everything was good inside, outside, and external all around them. And the Lord told them, they should reproduce after their kind and replenish the earth, fill up the earth with happy people, holy people, healthy people, joyful people. He told them to fill up the earth. They had not even started filling up the earth when the serpent came. And the serpent said, as the Lord said, he had a question. He put a question mark on what God had said. You know, what people miss out in having the power, the miracle of Christ in their lives, they put a question mark on what God had said. As God said, it will save, they put a question mark. As God said, it will transform my life. They put a question mark. As God said, it will heal me tonight. They put a question mark. As God said, he can deliver. He will deliver me tonight. They put a question mark. As God said, he can so purge and purify. And he can so change my life, transform my life, and make me worthy. And ready for heaven, they put a question mark. It's the question mark they put on the word of God that makes them to miss the blessing of God. Remove that question mark tonight. As God said, he has said. And so Satan, in dwelling, the serpent spoke to Eve and told Eve to do what Eve should not have done. And because of that, the glory of the Lord that covered her, that glory was removed, became naked in the sight of God. And then she gave that to her husband. And the husband agreed with her in putting a question mark on what the Lord had said. He also ate the fruit, the forbidden fruit. And also became naked, naked of the glory of God, of the covering of God. And God came down to that garden of Eden in the cool of the day and said, Adam, where are you? He had led the place where God put him. And he was hiding hiding behind all the things that the serpent had said. Where are you? And the Lord is asking the question tonight. He's saying, my will for you, the place I have for you, is a place of salvation, a place of peace, a place of happiness, a place of health, a place of total freedom. Where are you? And Adam said, I heard your voice in the garden. I was afraid. Why are you afraid? He said, because I am naked. When we don't have the covering of the robe of righteousness, you may be clothed with the most expensive clothes on earth. If you don't have the covering, the clothing of the robe of righteousness, 
in the sight of God, in the sight of all the angels, in the sight of all the millions and millions of personalities in heaven, you are naked. And the Lord said, what have you done? Have you eaten of the fruit that I told you not to eat? And then he said, my wife deceived me, gave it to me. There are people, instead of confessing their evil, they make excuses. And the excuse will make them to depart to be driven away from the garden of Eden tonight. Don't make any excuse. Have you eaten that? Have you drunk that? Have you gotten into that evil? No excuse. And don't shift the blame on Adam, on Eve, on anybody but yourself. Eve, why have you done that? The serpent beguiled me. And I did eat. The end of the story is that a curse came upon Adam, upon Eve, and upon the whole of humanity. And as you go through the Bible, the word of God tells us from that point of the garden of Eden, a curse. As the children of Israel were to settle in the land of Canaan, the Lord told them what will bring a curse upon them. And as you go through the whole of the Old Testament, also you find the repetition of the curse and the curse and the curse coming upon people. You come to the New Testament, glory wonders christ comes and christ now is the one that came and was crucified on the cross and when he was crucified on the cross he cancelled all the curse curse from god curse from satan curse from man curse from traditionalists curse from enemies all the curse that should have come upon man upon humanity christ cancelled every curse for every man on the cross and that's what we're looking at tonight and tonight the curse in your life the evil in your life the pain in your life the lord will cancel everything I expect, I confess, I possess what you expect is what you confess and what you confess is what you are going to possess tonight. I thank God for you. What are you? I thank God for you. Tonight is the night of your liberation in Jesus' name. Galatians chapter 3. And I'm reading from verse 13, Galatians chapter 3. And we're looking at verse 13. It says, For Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. The curse of the law. There was a law given for Adam and Eve. They broke that law. A curse came on them. There was a law given to the children of Israel. They broke that and the curse came upon them. There is law given to the whole of humanity. Love God with all your heart. Love your neighbor as yourself. And uh, love everyone without hatred. We have broken that law. And the curse has come. But now Christ came and Christ has redeemed us, redeemed me. I thought you said that for yourself. Redeem me from the curse of the law. Be made a curse for us. For it is written, cursed 
is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Look at verse 14. In verse 14, it tells us that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ tonight. Cause will go away. Cause will be cancelled and curse will be broken and then the blessing of abraham will come upon your life as you believe on the lord jesus christ then it says that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith receive receive we're going to receive three things we're looking at tonight number one recognition of the curses to be cancelled by christ you understand every pain in your life all the suffering in your life all the sicknesses in your life all the deformities of your life everything that is upside down in your life everything of darkness of the power of darkness that's the curse and we need to recognize the curses to be cancelled by christ and thank God tonight, cancellation. I said cancellation. Your sin cancelled. Your sickness is cancelled. Your suffering cancelled. And every deformity cancelled. You need to recognize that. And as you recognize, you say tonight is my night. I confess, I possess you will possess in jesus name what am i talking about there you will possess you will receive and the blessing of god will be mighty in your life in jesus name number two redemption from all causes not only some not just a few not just many redemption from all causes through the crucifixion of christ it's done it for you already it's born the pain it's born the curse it's carried everything away and what he bore for you you will not bear again the lord tonight will remove and set you free from all causes because of the crucifixion of Christ. Number three is the removal. The removal of every curse. How many causes will the Lord remove from your life tonight? How much of pain will the Lord remove from your life tonight? How much of your sickness will the Lord remove tonight? Everything. The removal of every curse by conversion to Christ. The serpent has not died out yet. Satan is still much alive in the world. Is on one side. And Christ alive. He died. He rose again. And he lives forever. He is on another side. And as you decide tonight, and you cross over, I'm no more for Satan. I'm no more for the devil. I'm no more for the serpentine spirit. I'm no more for the reptile, the calling spirit. I cross over unto Christ. The moment you cross over to Christ, all the property of the devil in your life, everything is taken away in Jesus' name. Amen. Number one. Number one, recognition of the curses to be cancelled by Christ. We're looking at Deuteronomy chapter 30 and I'm reading from verse 19. Deuteronomy chapter 30. We're looking at verse 19. It says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. The children of Israel in their millions were spread out in the sight of God. And they represented the millions and the billions of people all over the world in this generation and in every generation. And God 
calls the attention of heaven and the attention of the whole earth. And he says, I, the Almighty God, I, the one that was before the creation of the world, that was before Eden, that was in Eden, that was after Eden, the God everlasting that lives until this day. He says, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live the same thing was before Adam and Eve life and death the day you eat of the fruit you will die but if you abstain from that fruit there is the tree of the of life there then you will live forever and the Lord said, I put before you, Adam, Eve, blessing and cursing. Choose. And they chose death. They chose curse. And the curse came upon them. And through them, the curse came upon the whole of humanity. Before that time, there was no sin with Adam or Eve. Before that time, there was no sickness, no cancer, no blindness, no deafness, no paralysis, no weakness. Everything was all right. But they had a choice to make. And you have a choice to make. Choose. Which one do you want? Life or death? Now, they were not to answer with the words of their mouth. They were to answer with their action. By their action of disobedience, of sin, they chose death. Blessing or cursing? They were not to answer with the word of their mouth. By their action, they chose curse. And death came upon all because of the choice of our forefathers. And it has passed on until this time. But Jesus said, I am the life and the resurrection is the way the truth and the life and the only way we can overcome death is that we cross over from that place we cross over from the disobedience of adam and eve we cross over from all that suggestion and instigation and the pushing of Satan and the serpent. And we cross over to Christ. That's what we are going to do tonight. I'm talking to you. I said, that is what we are going to do tonight. And as you cross over and you come unto Christ, sin away. Suffering begun. And all the infirmities, everything the devil brought into our lives, we we'll say bye bye to them forever. Tonight, instead of death, there be life in you, eternal life, everlasting life, abundant life, a happy life, a heavenly life in Jesus' name. From that time. People have chosen what will satisfy the flesh, the alcohol that will satisfy the flesh, the marijuana that will satisfy the flesh. From that time, what the Lord has said, 
don't touch, don't eat. That's what they have taught. And that's what they have eaten. And all the, all the pleasures of the flesh, the adultery, the fornication, that's what they have chosen. And because of what they have chosen, instead of blessing, a curse has come. Instead of life, death has come. And then everybody, an Israelite, everybody a gentile everybody man or woman everybody boy or girl we've been going through the curse and then the agents of death you understand every sickness is a forerunner of death death sends the sickness ahead go get him i'll be coming and then the sickness starts in a little way, little way, and then it's pushing us on, pushing us on until death comes. But Christ said, The thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come. Our captain has come. Our savior has come. The giver of life has come. The one that comes to cancel all those messengers of death, the one that wants to set us free, he has come. And he's coming to you there tonight. What are you? He's coming to you there tonight. Recognize it's our choice. It's our sin. It's our evil. It's our devotion to all that the devil has said. That's what brought us to this position where we are. He says, therefore choose life. It's not too late tonight, you will choose life. It's not too late tonight, you will choose blessing. And you know, he told everyone that. He said, no matter how far you have gone, no matter how deep you have gone, no matter what covenant you have made, what you call Jesus, he said tonight, choose life, death will vanish away. You know, if you come to a room and you see total darkness in that room, and you cannot see anything. You cannot even see your hand. And then you know where the switch is. And you choose light. You don't have to fight with the darkness. You don't have to command darkness go. Darkness go. Just switch on. As light comes, the darkness will vanish away. In your life, switch it on. Bring Christ the light of the world. And all the darkness of Satan, all the darkness of the serpent, all the darkness of sickness, all the darkness of the messengers of death, everything will vanish away. All the darkness of the messengers of death, everything vanishes away tonight in Jesus' name. Choose life. He is the life, the way, the truth, and the life. Whosoever will come to the Father will come through him. It's not coming through religion. It's not coming through tradition. It's not coming through sacrifice, human sacrifice. It's not coming through money, pain of money. All the money in the world cannot drive away this darkness. Switch on the light. Let the light of the world, Jesus Christ, let him come in darkness will vanish tonight your healing will come tonight your deliverance will come tonight but you must switch on at that light just like that both thou and I seed me live. Choose life yourself. Tell your wife, dear, to you, I'm coming to Christ. Choose life. Come to Christ. If your children are there, influence your children and say, Children, we have suffered long enough. We have been sick long enough. We have been under oppression attacks long enough. Now, daddy is choosing life. Mommy is choosing life. And all the children, you choose life. And your whole family will come into life and the curse in every family will be broken tonight in Jesus name 
that thou mayest live, that your children may live tonight and bring the life of Christ unto you. Cancellation of your curse, destruction of the evil of your life. Come to Christ, choose life, choose the author of life, and your life will never be the same again from tonight in Jesus' name. And then, after you come to Christ tonight and you abide in Christ, that curse that is taken away will never come back again. Is that village amen or the state amen? Proverbs chapter 26, I'm reading from verse 2. Proverbs 26, verse 2. As the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the curse, costless, shall not come. I didn't hear your amen. When you come to Christ and you abide in Christ and you are not going back to Satan, you are not taking the forbidden fruit, you remain in Christ as a new creature, there is no curse of any curse coming back to your life anymore from tonight you're free i am free i confess i am free what i confess i possess i am free the cause costless shall not come to you again point number two now number two is redemption from all causes how many all causes say it for yourself how many all causes say it out aloud all causes tonight redemption from all causes through the crucifixion of christ let's look at that again in galatians chapter 3 and i'm reading from verse 13 christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law Christ has redeemed us. He's done it, he's done it already. When? When he died on the cross. When? When he took all your punishment, all your curse, all your evil, all the oppression, all the attacks, all the affliction. When he took that on the cross, he redeemed you from the curse of the law now understand many people have laws families tribes communities nations even some individuals they have laws sometimes you don't know that law and then they have said and they seem to have the power of the old serpent, the power of the old devil. And they have a law, anybody, whether child or family member or tribe or stranger that does this, that's their law, they'll put them under a curse. And that's why many people are suffering the law of that old man somebody in somebody's family broke that law and the old man put a curse on them a tribe many years ago they made a covenant and a law anyone in this tribe that does this this will happen to them sometimes it's a marriage anyone in this family anyone in this extended tribe that will go and marry from that area then they put a curse on them because those people are breaking their law you may not even know you are breaking you're breaking anybody's law and then god himself has said the soul that sinneth it shall die that the cause and so now 
Many people struggle under that suffering, under that sickness, under that calamity, under that evil, under something they cannot explain in their lives. They are climbing up. Before they get to the top of the ladder, they drop down again. Everything they do, everything is scattered. And Christ saw you in your predicament. He saw you as you were struggling and struggling. He said, no matter how you struggle, the one that made that law, that you broke, that brought the cause, is mightier, is greater, is stronger than you are. And he said, come to me. I will help you. Tonight, Christ will help you. You will overcome. You will succeed. Every curse will be broken out of your life in Jesus' name. That's why when Christ came, he threw the invitation to everybody. And he said, come unto me. All ye that labor, they were laboring under a yoke. They were laboring under a power greater and stronger than themselves. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. Laden with the heavy burden of the yoke and the cross and the curse. And he said, I will give you rest. Where are you? That's your promise there. I will give you rest. I will give you rest. Redemption will come to you. Total freedom will come to you. The salvation of the Lord will come to you. Triumph, power to overcome will come upon your life in Jesus' name. No other person can call you and say, come unto me and I will give you rest. Why? Because all the people of the world are under the curse. And since they themselves are not free from the curse, how can they set you free? But Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Be made a curse for us. What does that mean? He came voluntarily and he said, Father, I will bear their curse. I will carry their curse. I will suffer their punishment. Made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. After he has borne the curse for you, what are we expecting now? Look at verse 14. In verse 14, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles. All those people who are not Jews, not Israelites, the blessing of Abraham. You know, those Jews, they thought the blessings of Abraham will be upon them alone. But the blessing of Abraham is for you. Peace of mind is for you. Forgiveness of sin is for you. Salvation of the Lord is for you. Healing from sicknesses is for you. Miracle of mercy, mighty miracle is for you tonight in Jesus' name. And then everlasting life. Did you hear that story of Jesus and the beggar died and he was buried and the angels came and carried him, his soul, into Abraham's bosom, paradise. That's part of the blessing of Abraham. And tonight, as the Lord cancels every curse in your life, and He gives you earthly blessing, He'll also give you everlasting blessing as you are blessed on earth. When you are crossing over to go to heaven, you are blessed. Angels will come and carry you to heaven. Blessing. Blessing today. Blessing tomorrow. Blessing to the end of your life. And blessing when you close your eyes here. You open your eyes in the blessedness of heaven forever and ever. In Jesus' name.
all because of Christ who bore our curse who took our curse away and now he says the blessing of Abraham God counted Abraham as a friend the blessing of Abraham Christ will call you a friend and everything he will do for himself he will do for his friend I welcome you tonight to the bosom of Christ and to the depth of the blessing of God and the blessing of Abraham and the goodness of God will forever from tonight be in your life in Jesus name that the blessing of Abraham might come might come it'll come and meet you there blessing will come and reach you right there healing will come and reach you right there salvation will come and reach you right there the blessing of Abraham will come it will locate you wherever you are there tonight in Jesus name peace of mind will come salvation will come rest in your soul will come the load on you heavy load on you the lord will lift it and throw it away from your life tonight in jesus name it will come on every gentle through christ jesus that we might receive the promise promise of salvation that we might receive the promise of total regeneration that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith as we believe on the lord jesus christ tonight turn away from sin turn away from satan turn away from the old serpent turn away from all your past evil and you turn to christ tonight blessing salvation has now come what are you it will come upon your life as you decide by faith tonight that lord i am now for you i expect your salvation i confess your salvation i possess your salvation that if you'll confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Christ died for you on the cross of Calvary for you in particular and he rose again thou shalt be saved for what the heart man believeth and what the mouth confession is made unto salvation it's just tonight in Jesus name it's mine I said it's mine it is mine it's confirmed in heaven in Jesus name number three now final is the removal of every curse by conversion to Christ removal of every curse when you remove something that thing you remove is no more there it's gone and gone forever tonight the Lord will remove your sin that sin will not be in your life anymore that sin will not force you and push you to do evil anymore it will a change a supernatural change a complete change transformation will come to your life tonight in Jesus name he removes your sin number two he removes your sickness all your sicknesses tonight you bundle everything together because Christ died on the cross of Calvary and the Lord has made himself your own curse your substitute your savior the final sacrifice and then it takes it takes sin away and then it takes your sickness away every sickness you have there tonight 
the Lord because of what he has done already. He'll take all the sicknesses away in Jesus' name. And then any form of suffering in your life, it takes away your sin. It takes away your sickness. It takes away your suffering. Suffering emotionally. Suffering physically. Suffering all alone by yourself. And you cry tears that nobody can dry up tonight. It will take all that suffering away in Jesus' name. Everything of evil. Everything of the devil, the Lord will destroy all the works of the devil in your heart, in your life tonight. Amen. In Psalm 103, Psalm 103, I'm reading from verse 3. It says, Who forgiveth? All thine iniquities. That's what he wants to do. That's why he's calling you. Until those iniquities are forgiven, you'll be having guilt. You'll be having condemnation. You'll be running away from God. You'll be hiding behind a tree or behind the bush. You'll be hiding behind all that the devil, Satan, the serpent has planted in your garden. But as Christ comes, and then you come out, you say, I'm the guilty one. I turn, I repent, I call upon the Lord. Then all your sins, all your iniquities, all your transgressions, secret sin, open sin, occasional sin, habitual sin, every sin you ever committed in your life the lord will say you are forgiven i thought you say good amen who yeah. forgiveth all thine iniquities and then look at this who healeth who healeth tell me who healeth all thy diseases every disease tonight the lord will cancel from your life the pain and the punishment of sin that's part of the curse it'll take everything away the pain and the plague of every sickness that's part of the curse the lord will take everything away and then uh, the pain and the perpetuity of suffering in your life. The Lord will take all the suffering away tonight. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities. Who healeth all thy diseases. Look at verse 4. It says, who redeemeth thy life from uh, destruction. The devil comes. He wants to steal. He wants to kill. He wants to destroy. And then Christ says, I am come that she may have life and have it more abundantly. And then every form of destruction in your life, the Lord will sweep it away. Who counteth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Verse 5. In verse 5, who satisfies thy mouth with good things it will start tonight i said it will start tonight you are a sinner and you recognize that he is savior and you recognize that and today is your salvation and you recognize that the sinner comes and he confesses the sins as a sinner to the savior and the moment you believe on him he becomes your savior and salvation comes unto you this very moment in Jesus name and then from that time on he satisfies your mouth with good things so that the youth is renewed like the eagles your sight will come back you are renewed like the eagle. Your hearing will come back. 
because you are renewed like the eagle your joy the joy of salvation will come back because you're renewed like the eagles and your innocence will come back all the guilty feelings and all the you know guilty um, self-talk i'm guilty i'm bad i cannot do evil look at what is happening to me every sin will get off your life in jesus name total renewal total renewal the lord will reform your life refashion your life transform your life change your life and your life will never be the same again the old life will go away and the new life coming from christ coming from heaven will come upon your life tonight in jesus name look at verse 12 he tells us in verse 12 as far as the east is from the west so far as he removed our transgressions from us as you come to the Lord tonight, all your sins that are ever near, all your sins, all your evil, that you always feel the closeness and the nearness. You want to pray, the voice is sinner, ah, you're a sinner, how can you pray? You want to move forward and you see people like you, look at the evil you have done, how can you move forward? You want to have happiness and joy and then the devil is seeing you of all people, you want to have your joy is then cut short because your sin is ever near. Tonight, as you come to the Lord, and say, Lord, I know, I know the sin, I know the suffering, I know the sickness, I know the curse, I know the consequence of all the evil that I have done. I confess and I transfer all my sins unto you, Christ, my Savior, because you died for me and because you were on the cross of Calvary for me, I transfer all my sins unto you as far as the east is from the west so far as he removed our transgressions from us now you need to understand the east and the west is talking about look up here when you look to your left the horizon is far 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 away when you look to your right the horizon is far 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 away if you are walking and you are walking i want to reach the horizon no matter how long you walk the horizon far far in the east is very far away and the horizon far far in the west is very far away is seen as far as the east is far from the west so far will he remove all your transgressions away from you you'll never see them again heaven will never see them again satan will never see them again tonight it will happen to you because christ died on the cross of calvary and that is the cross that cancels every curse for every man that's why it says go into all the world and preach the good news the glad tidings the gospel to every creature that's what i'll give you tonight and then it says he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved as we believe tonight and say yes lord i believe i accept christ is my savior that salvation will come to you but then he gives us the warning he gives us the warning he that believeth not shall be damned that means he that believeth not he will carry his own curse and until the point of death, it will carry its own curse. And when it dies and it crosses over, it will keep on carrying its own curse. And nobody will carry any curse to heaven. That means 
if your curse is not removed now by Christ and you die carrying that curse and you cross over to the other side with that curse you cannot carry curse to heaven you go to the other side I pray that will not happen to you but whosoever whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved the moment you come to the Lord and say yes Lord I'm here I'm the one Christ died for and he removed my sin he removed my transgression he removed my iniquity he removed my guilt and he brought that upon himself as far as the east is from the west he will remove all your transgression and then you are saved you're free you are converted and when that time comes to get to heaven angels will come for you you will get to heaven I'm looking for the person I'm talking about. He will get to heaven. She will get to heaven. Because Christ has removed the curse. And he has handed over the curse unto Christ. And is saved. And is healed. And is forgiven. And is set free. And is redeemed. Now and forever. And everybody said. Amen. It's bowed. And eyes closed. Here is your chance that you remove the curse, the judgment, the condemnation of your sin. He'll set you free. You'll be free today in your conscience, free today in your heart, free today in your mind. There'll be peace in your heart. He will give you rest. If you want him, to remove that curse of sin that consequence of sin that evil of sin if you want him to remove all the guilt and all the condemnation and the record of heaven concerning your sin you want him to remove that just raise up your hand and his salvation will come to you God bless you there wonderful God bless you raise up that hand on the right, in front of me, on the left, it's of that hand. You sincerely, wholeheartedly want your sin to be removed as far as the east is from the west. And you want him to remove the curse and the punishment of your sin as far as the east is from the west where are you where are you the lord is waiting for you he wants to see your hand restored that you are the candidate of his forgiveness of his salvation of his transformation of the new life of the freedom and of the rest in your soul of the peace of mind you want that trace, you want that peace, you want that salvation, and you want that reconciliation with God right now. Where are you? Raise up that hand. Raise up that hand. If you are raising up the hand, stand up wherever you are. Let heaven recognize you. If you are raising up your hands. God bless you. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You want him to remove the curse, the sin. The punishment, hellfire, want him to remove that? Where are you? Tell the Lord while you're standing up and say, Lord, here I am. I want your forgiveness. Here I am. I want your salvation. Here I am. I want peace of mind. Here I am. I want rest in my soul. Tell the Lord as we are standing and tell the Lord I know those were the sins that landed me in trouble under the curse as you save me tonight as you forgive me tonight Lord by your grace by your help I will not return to them anymore alcohol gone 
Smoking, gone. Dirty life, gone. Deception, lying, gone. Idolatry, idol worship, gone. Wickedness, cruelty, gone. Robbery, either with a gang or by yourself, gone. Fornication, adultery, gone. Lord, I hand over everything unto Christ. I need your forgiveness. And I turn away from all those evil things. Take them, Lord, and remove all my transgressions, all my sins. Remove them from me as far as the east is from the west. I believe, Lord, the moment you believe, it's done. He gave us the promise he cannot lie. He said, call, and I will save you. You have called, believe that he has saved you. And the joy of salvation will register in your heart. And the new life will be given unto you. I'll pray for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for everyone that has recognized the reason for the curse, the pain, the pressure, the punishment for sin. And they have confessed, and they have repented, and they have handed over their sin, their transgression, their iniquity unto you. According to your promise, remove their sin as far as the east from the west in Jesus' name. Grant them forgiveness now. Grant them peace of mind. Grant them the joy of salvation. Grant them the new life of a new creature. Confirm that salvation in every heart, in every life, here and everywhere. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Another amen. God bless you. Keep standing. Our counselors are there. And the counselors will give you a slip to feel. Feel the correct information. It's for us to be able to help you so that this new found experience in the Lord, you'll continue triumphantly, victoriously in this experience. Our state of us here of Aqua Abum will take over now. Please give them your correct name. Counsel us. Write their names in capital letter. Make it very clear. Their phone number. Their house address. The local government where they come from. Or the region. Make it sharply, please. Don't forget the special card. If they cannot write, you help them. Please be fast. Don't forget, write their name in capital letters. Their phone numbers. Their house address. The local government when they come, I mean where they come from.
Let's be fast. Don't forget to give them the special card, Breakfast with Jesus tomorrow morning. Today on was wonderful. Tomorrow will be greater. Please don't forget. Breakfast with Jesus. Counsel us, let's be fast. You spread yourself to the very back. Don't forget to write their phone numbers. If you are watching online and you just gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, Visit the link showing on the screen now and fill the form so you can, we can assist you further in your new walk with Christ. If you are listening to that radio and you just gave your life to Christ, send your name, phone number, and email address via SMS or WhatsApp to the number before you now. Combat rally will be coming. There will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who gave their lives to Christ. More details about this will be sent to you our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Thanks. Let's be fast. If you are finished from the left hand side, just wave your hand. Those on my left hand side, if you are finished, wave your hand. Those on the right hand, if you are finished, let me see your hand, wave up. Let's be fast. On the left hand, if you are finished, wave your hand. Okay. Before me, if you are finished, wave your hand. Okay. On my right hand, if you are finished, let me see your hand waved. Let's be fast. Don't forget to give them that special card, Breakfast with Jesus, tomorrow morning. Let's be getting set now as the man of God comes. Anything tying you down will be loose. 
whatsoever chain tonight will be broken. We can stand up now. Praise the Lord. Somebody there said, Praise the Lord. Now remember that Christ has removed the curse. And we are now to come in agreement with Him. My curse is removed, my sickness is removed, all the deficiency, everything gone. Now, Christ comes, healing comes. Christ comes, miracle comes. Christ comes, deliverance comes. And as we pray in agreement, remember, I personally expect you to be healed. You expect yourself to be healed. Heaven expects you to be healed. What we expect, we confess. What we confess, we possess. It's right there. Lay your hand where you have the problem. Raise up the other hand. Your eyes are blind. Believe those eyes will open and see. You are paralyzed. Believe your walk. Any kind of problem, any kind of yoke, it's broken. And tonight will be the night of your testimony. Are you ready? Heaven is ready for us. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because we know Christ has completely removed every curse from everyone. Therefore, Lord, we pray you break and destroy every curse from every life in Jesus' name. Every yoke of the enemy. Take everything away right now in Jesus' name. As you have forgiven their sin, heal their sicknesses. Open the eyes of the blind. Let the deaf hear. Let the limb rise up and walk. Let all the tumor, all the swelling vanish away from their body right now. Let that goiter be cancelled right now. And all the suffering of the oppression of the enemy. Lord, I pray every sickness, every suffering, every oppression be removed in Jesus' name. Long-standing problems in any life. Long-standing infirmity, sickness, pain in any life, anywhere. Take it away in Jesus' name. Incurable disease, I command you, be healed right now in Jesus' name. Everywhere now, Lord, manifest yourself. Manifest your power. Manifest your deliverance. Manifest your miracle. Everywhere in this location, everywhere outside, confirm your miracle in everyone right now. We thank you because it is done. It is confirmed from heaven. It is confirmed in our lives. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord has done it. Check up yourself. You'll find your miracle there. Check up yourself.